fortnight in Venice passed quickly and sweetly, perhaps too sweetly. It left a confused memory of fierce sunlight on the sands, of cool marble interiors, of water everywhere lapping on smooth stone, reflected in a dapple of light on painted ceilings, of a night at the Corombona Palace such as Byron might have known. I remember most particularly one conversation towards the end of my visit. Sebastian had gone to play tennis with his father, and Cara at last admitted to fatigue. We sat in the late afternoon at the windows overlooking the Grand Canal. It was the first time we had been alone together. I think you're very fond of Sebastian. Certainly. I know of these romantic friendships of the English and the Germans. They're not Latin. I think they're very good. If they don't go on too long. It's a kind of love that comes to children before they know its meaning. In England, it comes a little later. When you're almost men. I think I like that. I think it's better to have this first kind of love for a boy than for a girl. Alex, you see, had it for a girl, his wife. Do you think he loves me? Really, Carla? You do ask the most embarrassing questions. How should I know? I assume. He does not, but not the littlest piece. But then why does he stay with you? Because I protect him from Lady Marchman. He hates her. But you can have no conception how he hates her. My friend, he's a volcano of hate. He can't breathe the same air as she. He won't set foot in England because it's her home. He can scarcely be happy with Sebastian because he's her son. But Sebastian hates her too. Oh no, I think you're wrong there. He may not admit it to you. He may not admit it to himself. They're full of hate. Hate of themselves. Alex and his family. And how has she deserved all this hate? She's done nothing except to be loved by someone who was not grown up. When people hate with all that energy, it's something in themselves they're hating. Alex is hating all the illusions of boyhood. Innocence. God. Hope. Sebastian is in love with his own childhood. That'll make him very unhappy. His teddy bear, his nanny, and he is 19 years old. How good it is to sit in the shade and talk of love. Come, let's go and meet them. <laughs>